What's going on, guys? Core Sports and King of the Table have given us a very exciting announcement yesterday in the form of the King of the Table 11 card. So many matches on this card are absolutely mouthwatering if you're an arm wrestling fan. I've got some of the highest caliber arm wrestlers alive, uh, some epic battles, a couple of rematches maybe. Uh, either way you look at it, it is an absolutely stellar lineup. Now, what we're going to do in this video is go through each of the matches and see which match could be the standout match of the night. Of course, we do have the main event between Omis Gasparini and Denis Saplenkov, but there are so many more that could be absolutely show-stealing matches as well. So let's go through the matches now and have a look at exactly what's on the card and see which match will be the standout. Okay, so the King of the Table 11 matches as they stand. If I read it off the poster, it is the main event. Uh, actually, let's go in reverse order because that is going to be more exciting to build up to something. But anyway, it's opening round so far is Paul Lynn of the USA against Lachlan Adair. That, to me, is such an exciting match. Obviously, being an Australian and a good friend of Lachlan Adair's, this one is close to home for me. Uh, Paul Lynn and Lachlan Adair have been asked the question many times by many fans who would win. They've thought about the match a few times under a few different circumstances, but finally, here we are. I love that match. A great one. I imagine they're going to be meeting at the 105 kilo category. And then we have Rivaz Lutidze of Georgia up against Georgi Zaranov, uh, Kazakhstan. Georgi Zaranov, one of the most underestimated super heavyweight right arm pullers in the world. Rivaz Lutidze, one of those Georgian monsters, very tall. Um, it'll be interesting to see if Georgi Zaranov can force that match into the hook or will be it too much in the top role department of Rivaz. Either way, absolutely outstanding match. We then have the return of Michael Todd, USA's infamous Kings mover, the monster Michael Todd. He is back and he's taking on Lars Rabakin, who is the polar opposite when it comes stylistically, the Norwegian Lars Rabakin. Somewhat of a return to professional arm wrestling for him. In recent years, there was a bit of a, a hiatus from him, but he is a former uh, Norwegian strongest man. He's been in professional arm wrestling for just about forever, and he is a all an all out flop presser if he needs to be. Which against Michael Todd, we can see the match going there. What a fantastic matchup that is! We then have a rematch between Todd Hutchins and Kitagali Ongabayev. Todd Hutchins, of course, took the world championship, the East vs West world title, off Kitagali Ongabayev not that long ago. Uh, he then lost it to David Datakan, but this is a match that will no doubt determine who gets to, to be the number one contender to face Datakan again in the future for his first title defense. We then have what is labeled the left arm super heavyweight world title. Now, Artem Morozov is the defending champion at the moment, and he will be uh, doing exactly that, and he's going to be facing the challenger in Ivan Matashenko. Now, Ivan Matashenko is a Russian-born arm wrestler who I can only describe has the most aggressive wrist flexion, the most dominant wrist flexion I've ever seen of any athlete in the world. His ability, his speed, uh, it, it's truly intimidating. And someone of Artem Morozov's size and stature, who is a very well-rounded arm wrestler, it'll be fascinating to see if he can handle that explosive starts of Ivan Matashenko. A lot of people were wondering whether it was going to be Vitaly Laletin who gets the next shot at the world title. I guess he is going to still have to wait in the wings for that left arm world title. And then, of course, we have the main event, Denis Saplenkov against Ermis Gasparini. Uh, this is a special match. I think Ermis, this would be a very special match for him. I'm sure he looks up to Denis Saplenkov in so many ways. Denis, one of the OGs of the sport, one of the all-time greats in the super heavyweight division, uh, we know he's making a comeback and he's quickly climbing up the ranks. This match here I see is pretty much a three versus four uh, when it comes to the ranks in the world in most people's opinion. There are, of course, other names in there as well. But this match is a very, very special match, I'm sure, for Hermes. And Dennis, it'll obviously mean a lot to him too because he is going to want to continue his return towards the top for an inevitable showdown against maybe Levan someday. Now, honestly, if I had to give this card a score out of 10, uh, I have to give it a 10. It, it's genuinely one of the best cards that I've seen from King of the Table. Uh, every single match on it is entertaining. Every single match on it is a worthy battle, and I expect each of them to really be hard fought. I don't see any easy victories on any part of this card. 
Uh, my favourite match, if I had to give one of the matches uh, a favourite, there is a personal bias. It is Paul Lynn, Lachlan Adair. I've wanted to see that match for a long time. I think Lachlan Adair will take it, but it will be hard fought. It will be a great match, and it's my pick. Now, putting biases aside, I have to come up with a which match is going to be the match of the night. And on a card of this calibre, it's actually very difficult to pinpoint. Now, stylistically, you can say... Michael Todd and Lars Rabarkin could be a war that goes forever. I remember back to Michael Todd having matches against Jerry Cataret in years gone by, and they went for 15 minutes per round. It was crazy. So this has the potential of being another one of those matches uh, due to the stylistic flop press of Lars Rabarkin and the King's Move potential of Michael Todd. However, I don't think my gut feel is that that won't be the match of the night. Uh, of course, we have epic main event, Dennis Saplenko for Nermis Gasparini. I don't think that will be match of the night. I, I think it look it's going to be spectacular, but my gut feel for the match of the night is going to be Ivan Matashenko and Artem Morozov for the left-hand world title. And the reason being is I think that Ivan Matashenko is going to come out of the blocks so fast, so explosive. I think he's going to take the early rounds, and but I can see... I can see Adam Morozov digging in, digging deep. He's done it once before against David Dadakhan. I think he's going to have to do it again. And I feel like that match will have both gentlemen walking out or being carried out in stretches. They'll be that exhausted. But look, at the end of the day, there are so many matches. Every single one of these could steal the show. As I said, the card is a 10 out of 10 card. And what's most exciting is that there's a little note down the bottom of their poster that says more to follow. So if that is an indication that there are more matches to be added to this card, well, it's going to be exciting. And if they keep up that same caliber of matches and balance of opponents, it will be spectacular and uh, take it to yet again another level. Of course, you can see all of this at the Core Sports website. It'll be a King of the Table event in Dubai. I think it's happening 1st of June. Yes, 1st of June is when this one is happening. So you'll be able to watch it all from Core Sports website. Um, and yeah, guys, awesome stuff. Something to look forward to there. First of June, King of the Table 11.